Oh my god, it's recording. You scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh. I was like, ah! and then I forgot that I had joined early. I was like, ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. I see you. That's all. It's been a while. Somebody behind me. I was like, ah! anyway. the calls coming from inside the computer. I know. Uh, I feel like this week is not my week, y'all. I took I took an L I took an L yesterday on the work tip. It was just like the list that I created for myself that day. I think I crossed off like one out of twenty. <laughs> I I have this new system where like I just I turn over a page and if it wasn't done, hopefully it'll come up again. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I got tired of carrying things over. Like I know my like I've been I've been keeping this like recurring stand up document for my boss and I'm just been like copying and pasting the next like <laughs> yeah that like, sounds like some overwhelm that yeah that's... try trying this again <laughs> trying this some... <laughs> yeah like this is not the year for to do lists it's uh this is actually something happen, I'm thinking it's not about happen. in the uh, space of like contributor strategy stuff. I am, I'm thinking about this as far as like, if our communities are not going to be as productive as we would normally expect them to be, then what? I am. Yeah. Not to bring it back in towards like, you know, the uh, topic at hand, but. Uh, <laughs> How uh, dare no, you? No, because I mean, I'm hearing rumblings about, you know, like uh, Kubernetes releases being delayed just a little bit and stuff like that like it's uh, impacting people and, and part of that is sort of like because there was kind of this expectation that we would, would basically see each other at a kibcon and and like it would be like a magical deadline that if you didn't have your shit together by then everyone would know yeah. <laughs> that's totally agree. yeah and and that's not really present anymore so in the absence of that what other pieces can we kind of look towards so that is what I am thinking about these I days. I need crushing anxiety to get stuff done. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I mean, that's that's one method. Um, Shame-driven development is also yeah. fun. There you um, go. No, but really more seriously thinking about, like, what happens if we hit, like, you know, like, as we hit, like, November for um, Boston and, mm -hmm. and, and we don't have releases and we don't have things, like, what do we do? We just have really stable products is what's okay. going to happen. Yeah. I mean, reframing then. Okay. Oh, I mean, finally, finally maybe stable that's products. Not okay to say, but we would. We would have very stable products <laughs> instead of playing catch up every three months. <laughs> that's a nice reframing of like you know, like we, we would focus on stability and we would focus on like you know being able to like you know bug fixing, right? I mean, that's what we're doing. You know, mm -hmm. on my team actually mm -hmm. is uh, just uh, refocusing on other things instead of catching up on keeping up with upstream. Mm, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Like, you know. Uh, um, okay, all right. Paris. Go ahead. 33 after. <laughs> I'm like, let's get this party started. All right. It's only five of us too. So we're, we can chill. Um, what was I going to say? Um, up, 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 up. Oh, yes. Agendas and chat. I already put all of our names on it. I personally only have one thing today. I do have to skedaddle at 11. Um, and does anybody else have any topics or agenda or discussion items? Actually, I do have another discussion, which is the hotel stuff. Uh, 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 uh. Open telemetry, I'll fill y'all in on that. Okay. Anybody else have any other discussion points or anything for the agenda? Not me. Okay. All right. So we are like, I feel like two seconds away from shipping the survey and the, uh, and all of the verbiage, which is awesome. Uh, now we are at the stage of who's doing what, why, how, who. Um, April has already taken some stuff in chat. Um, the thing that I said in chat still stands. I'm down to do the majority of this, but I know like Carolyn, you're tied to some other communities internally. So it might be weird for me to like do it when you can just do your own kind of community thing. Um, 
same thing with Eeyore. You might want to take some of these too. Some of them have like ambassador stuff. April's taking the Slack, the private Slack channel though. Um, but if we could all assign owners to this, we could ship this today for sure. Um, Carolyn, what do you think about, do you want to? Which communities were you thinking of exactly? All, all of them. Because I'm tied in communities that aren't CNCF actually. Well, you're, are you tied to Helm a little bit? Oh yeah, yeah, I can bring this to Helm. Yeah. Okay. I was like, wait. Uh, how about Brigade? <laughs> Brigade, Virtual Kubelet, and other Microsoft Born CNC projects. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm yet to Yes, Tony. I mean, we could, we could also ask the ambassadors to help spread the word oh, okay. amongst their own communities. Yes, please feel yeah, free. Yeah, we will definitely do it, but after this meeting. Yep. Yeah, uh, like if. I, I know I said that, you know, I volunteered to share it in the ambassador Slack, but like if Ehor wants to do like a coordinated effort where we ask the ambassadors to kind of share the, the survey and everything with their own communities, like I think that would be great and yep. just an idea. I just want to make sure that all 45 plus communities are hit. That's my, yeah. my concern. Um, so I'm saying I can like, we can just blast the, blast the dev lists or y'all can individually contact your own. So I'm going to, I put GRPC on the not blast list. Um, and then I'll also put, I'll also take off Helm. I'll say Carolyn's doing Helm or, um, Karen too, doesn't matter. Um, I just figured it would be better coming from your voices, um, than mine, like, who is this? I mean, they're my coworkers, so yeah. Between the two of us, we can we can yeah. get them and fill it out. Yeah, everybody knows who you are, Paris. And no, no, that's not that's not necessarily true. Um, all right, and then owner for maintainer list. I think this should probably be Josh or somebody. So I'm going to put Josh in because he doesn't have much. He's so. also out of the office until like mm, going to say Monday. Okay, well, I'll put so, myself. I mean, I'll like, myself. it is fine if you want to be able to do that. Just the expectation yep, is. Yep, nope, I didn't know, did not know that. Thank you very much. Um, and then uh, TOC, we've got that covered. Private dev channel, we've got that covered. Uh, ambassadors got that covered. The next one, oh, so CNCF uh, is going to also do a blog. I put the blog in the Slack channel as well, Julie. Uh, help, uh, Julie was super helpful uh, and got that drafted for us. We just need to review it. Uh, I told her to hold until after all of this stuff is done. So probably sometime next week. I figured that personal reach outs would be better uh, than people seeing on a blog first, um, or at least the opportunity to have personal reach outs kind of thing. Um, but that's it. So, I mean, that's pretty much our timeline. Um, I'd say by not tomorrow, but the following Friday, pretty much everybody in the community should at least have at least have heard about us, looked at skimmed a, skimmed an email header, like or some kind of thing. One note on timing. Yep. I am seeing a lot of people, to include us, have tomorrow off. It may yep. be worth being able to blast this oh, Monday. Yeah rather yeah, than point. being able to blast it today. You can make all the that plans the today. Point. That's completely fine. I just, I'm, I'm starting to be aware of people not looking at their email, shall we say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, I would even do some communication across the ambassadors community on Monday if, okay. if that's possible. Like, because I don't, don't like to do any communication like the day before weekend, especially if we have three days weekend, not the, yeah. not the regular. And a lot days. of people have had this come up suddenly kind of suddenly yeah. as well so like For make today, all the plans like today's kind of like friday and uh -huh. it's never good to launch something yeah. on a friday yeah. so i mean you can me. if you can yeah. if you wanted to not have like input then but this you actually want input so okay so i put start good uh, call amy good call sorry helping mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll do monday june 21st yes 
So, uh, and then I'll tell Julie then uh, probably Thursday for blog. We've got a few other blog posts coming out earlier in the week, so I think that's totally fine. Yep. Just from a timing perspective, I know that you wanted to be able to say, everybody knows us about this by next Friday. I'm like, kind of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, with it, like, by the time, like, a five to eight day period sure. you know, rolls through, like, went up from our send out or whatever. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> um, all right. Well, that's all I really wanted to get done right now. I'm not going to lie to you. I just wanted to see who was going to do what as far as this is concerned. Um, but as far as the open telemetry stuff, I, I know I tagged, not, I didn't tag, uh, I gave everybody the link in Slack. Let me pull it up. They were talking about um, getting like some advice for kind of like how to set up community infrastructure that would allow them to start outreach for um, for underrepresented uh, contributors. So I thought that might be cool for something that we could think about in the future um, as like best practices or, or stuff we could do with the contributor growth working group. Um, I did tell them to feel free to come to any one of our meetings. Um, I told them that we could come to them. Um, I just figured we could t kind of take that advisory approach with them, but they're also discussing um, kind of like the, the meta issue of like, do they need a community manager? Do they need a, a, a SIG? Like that kind of thing, which is really awesome because that's what we want the projects to do, I think. Now as well, they kind of see, oh, wow, we we really need to focus on this. So that's the open telemetry backstory there. Anything else going on in the community? Community? Inclusive language, I did set a issue for that as well. Um, and Kate's, that's what I'm doing at 11. Kubernetes is forming a working group. I'm gonna see what's going on there because I know Container D and a bunch of other projects are also asking for lists because they've changed some of the other keywords already. I know the Container D team has already done um, a lot of different. I, I don't know. I don't know the specifics, but I know they've done a few different words. Um, but they actually specifically asked if CNCF would help out with um, some kind of inclusive list. Uh, of things. So Celeste with SIGDOCs and Kubernetes actually already started a list. So I'm going to see what comes of this and if we can surface this kind of stuff and and things like that. Um, Are these like, words like for use in documentation and yeah. repos or like, okay. All of the I above. wasn't sure what the full context yeah. was. And is it, are they, are they looking at like a band list of words or how? Um, the list that, um, that Celeste and SIGDOCS has now, it's inclusive language and non-racist language for components, documentation, pretty much anything on your technology stack. And mm -hmm. what they're doing is, um, I think they're doing kind of like a ban option or a uh, uh, this is better than option. Sure. Sure. Uh, they're giving a couple different layers of advice okay. and they're also, but it's also uh, actually, hold on, let me, I have the link. I didn't know if it was like, here's a resource for being more inclusive in the things that you say, or if it was more of like, it's as a project, never say uh, these other things. I think it'll give maintainers who want to be able to adopt more inclusive language, a, a, an ability to say the CNCF recommends these without having mm -hmm. to tackle um, defending why they want to adopt different languages and mm -hmm. explain each and every one. Like, this is why we're doing allow block list. This is why we're changing master domain. Right. This is why we're doing X, Y, Z. And having to fight each individual battle themselves, they can refer up to, this is what the CNCF recommends, and let us explain once. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that'll yeah, help people I'm all a lot. I was just, I was just curious kind of how the approach was for it, but I think it's a yeah. great resource for people to have for sure. Yeah. 
I like I saw the Google one was good. I won't lie. I thought that was nice. The the Google developer one. And I know a couple other companies and stuff have put out like some guidelines and like um, we might even want to look at all that stuff as well. Um, but hold on. I've got the here's the link and I lied. Hold on. I must not have hit copy. Here we go. Copy. And paste. All right, I'll put it in chat too. Hold on one sec. And then hold up. Actually, that was just the link to the actual thread itself. Here's the link to the doc. Here we go. And there we go. Ooh, that's ugly. Everybody get it? Yeah, this is great. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yes, I would love to see some of these words switched out. It's just pretty much giving some kind of like context, background, and then also like technical justifications, things along those lines. Um, and this is happening in, in Kubernetes and I'm trying to figure out how to just bubble this up because the other thing is I know a lot of CNCF projects are actually going to be at this, the SIG architecture meeting listening to what they're doing. So I'm just wanting to make sure that everybody is collectively coming together on this instead of realizing that you know um they're recreating wheels if you will so uh, i thought this could also be a good maintainer circle topic for where, whenever we can kick kick that off hopefully soon so that's it for me folks Eeyore, what's up with you lately no news no news is that good news? <laughs> is that good no news? Well, I hope for, I Is that a three days weekend somewhere outside of my city for the first time in three months? That sounds very exciting. <laughs> April, what's up with you? How is GRPC? Uh, GRPC is fantastic, as always. No. Um, we have the GRPC. G Pancakes has not done anything recently. This red, that's he's not one. he's not going anywhere. I mean, that's the thing. Like, he should have been to where were we supposed to go for KubeCon this year? I don't even remember. <laughs> where we went to Amsterdam? Was that EU? Yes. <laughs> okay. so where is so that? He should, have been, he should have been to Amsterdam. He should have seen some tulips. I was actually really looking forward to having the sticker of like pancakes running through a field of tulips, but sadly, no. So yeah, he's just sitting at home doing nothing. A tulip pipeline. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the GRPC conference is next month, so everyone should attend. Carolyn, how are you and your projects? Oh my gosh, I am so excited. My team has interns and- yeah. <laughs> I love mentoring. Yeah. It's so much fun. It's yeah. great. I'm having a blast. So, so are they all over or? Um, They're are they working on CNAB uh, bundles with me and nice. uh, Crustlet, the Rust nice. Um Oh, cool. Yeah, and it's great. We're having, we're having so much fun. I love that. That's Rust. awesome. It's like every week we have hashtag real talk time where we talk about things that have nothing to do with tech. And uh, it's really, really, it's great. I love, love it. it. Love it. We need that stuff in hours. But the problem with that is our chill sessions usually end up as work talk. So. Oh, no, no. We talk about all sorts of like things going on in, in like the industry and tech about negotiating pay and like how to like. I don't know, all sorts of things. Keeping friends when you switch companies, like when would you actually want to work in open source? Um, I don't know, we talk about like career ranging problems and I love it because my interns are thinking about big stuff. So it's good. 
I'm yearning for that kind of stuff right now. Oh, yearning for that. Like, I'm yearning. All right. Well, y'all are chatty bunches. Amy, how are you? The CNCF side, I am delighted to be able to have the TOC review the uh, new sandbox process next week. Hope oh, that will hold on. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, okay. so my calendar. Hold on. <laughs> like that one. That that one is just TOC, but it's going to be recorded and published, and and the conversation is really like we are going to go through and just be able to re review public comments on the spreadsheet. So we are still in public comment period for that particular document, and let me go see if I can't find that tab. What are the millions of tabs that I have? Um, yeah. But oh my God, uh, Amy, how big's that spreadsheet gotten, by the way? Large. <laughs> <laughs> This large and in charge. As soon as that, that opens up, that form opens, people are going to be like flooding it with more projects. Well, I mean, so what I've I'm not done, the only one who's waiting. I was, I was actually being like fairly like reasonable about this. I made an entirely separate spreadsheet so that the form isn't going to be like lambasted with like public comments. But my challenge right now is actually running into the Google Docs problem of someone made a comment in here somewhere. I have no idea where it is. I oh, asked yeah. for like, where is it? It's like blurred, gone. Um, but yeah, lots of stuff in here. Really looking forward for that on like the the um, kind of CNCF contributor, like bringing in new projects side, frankly. So. I think it's a good problem. People are really excited about the changes. It is. Um, yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of these people have been sitting out for like a while from like, you know, a large variety of reasons. Some of it like the project got busy and some of it was like, man, we had a lot of questions and like, it's just, it's kind of all over the board. So yeah. Uh, I'm optimistic. I feel like things are moving in the right direction. So, you know, yeah. it's going to work, but it's good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious about how this is going to go down. And of course, like the people come in and put comments in here about like that you didn't get this right. And I'm like, <laughs> help. <laughs> yeah. People are picky. That's okay. Well, Nothing is ever perfect. So, everything is yeah. a living document. Is it supposed to be, t is it Tuesday at 8? Yes. I am Tuesday. Okay. Then I'll, as soon as like the recording comes through, I'll publish it and that sort of thing. The intention right now is just like the trial run for people to come in and kind of, you know, see how this goes and, and all of that. And um, we were we were supposed to be able to have this a couple of weeks ago, but we had a maintainer diversity issue come in and frankly needed some um, immediate attention. So all things. Yeah, 8 a.m. meetings, I catch the recording. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pacific time. Oh, well. Yeah, yep. but um, yeah, <laughs> Paris, that's that's like the uh, the fun stuff going on from my side as it relates towards like contributors and strategy and all of that and how um, we're frankly like we, we were looking for input, so. Um, you know what, it's, I, I'm sure it's too late at this point, but I wonder if we should have some kind of maintainer circle-y thing for KubeCon, the 17th through 20th virtual. Um. Drop an email to speakers um, at, okay. and we'll we'll start like tracking for that because uh, the the thing is that each of the SIGs actually do get their own sessions here, and I am not sure if you guys put in for a session, and if that was the case, then that would be an appropriate use of your session. Yeah, I don't know. All right, I'll, I'll poke around and see. In the past, I have hosted a um, a maintainers kind of birds of a feather session. I canceled that for KubeCon because my understanding was everybody was going to be on so many Zooms, they'd be dreaming in Zoom. Um, <laughs> but, if, if, but if you want to bring that back, I'm, I'm completely fine with being able to reschedule that um, or just frankly make it yours. Uh, I don't know. Let me think about it. Okay. I want to make it, I want to make it worthwhile. I Like you're saying, I just don't want it to be another Zoom. So, I mean... I, yet another Zoom with purpose, but yeah, yeah, I want well, yeah, purpose is good. So I, I'm zoomed out. So this is my I'm zoomed out face. So. Exactly. <laughs> I was trying to be kind to folks, understanding that like we have another two months of this. I hope you like it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, hey, I went. I have more than two months of this. <laughs> Sorry, April. Oh, I look mute I, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Dates and calendar may I'm be sure. closer than may appear. <laughs> Um, other fun things that are kind of outside the scope, um, uh, the to-do group is hosting a track for Open Source Summit North America, so that's kind of other interesting things running around. 
Yeah, that's that's kind of applicable. They have applicable topics to us. It's close enough. Um, there should be a blog post coming out, frankly, as soon as I mash merge on um, some of the to-do stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, good fun. Yeah, I miss that to-do group. Well, they're they're going to be out in force. Um, <sighs> that track is Monday, the twenty ninth. So. All right. That's it for me, folks. Cool. Oh. I'm I got. going to run to another meeting, so it's good to see all of you. Yeah. Look at us getting done early. Yeah. I know. Bye. Getting time back. Bye, all. Bye, you are. Miss Bye. You. Well, Karen, I didn't even know you were here. Karen. Sorry, I've been lurking. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, I, I like. Oh, yeah, I clicked off the participants tab after, like, I saw it was just five of us. Oh, my God. I did not totally, I, like, would have said, like, what's up, Karen? I, oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. All good. How are you? Um, good. Mainly just, well, like, wrapping things up to do Camp Cloud Native next week. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. No, I would have, like, I, did you hear me talking about Helm? No, I came in uh, right after that. I was in the same meeting as Carolyn. We had like this like brunch thing with our interns. Um, okay, cool. No, um, the survey and the like the send out about like who we are, why we're here is pretty much done. And mm -hmm. I figured it would be probably be better off if it was sent from like our folks who are helping us like um, represent their own communities. Yeah. So, like, I mean, especially if you have your own voice. So um, Carolyn said that y'all could handle, um, like Helm and Brigade and some stuff like that. So yeah. just let me know which ones you do so that we don't blast them because the ones that we don't hit, we'll just, um, we'll send them to their dev or contributor list. So it's about like 45 projects. Okay, cool. Um, is it just a link that's in the agenda? Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. I will take a look. Yeah, right. yeah. And I'm there on Slack, obviously, if you have any questions at all. Cool. All right. We'll chat soon. So sorry, Karen. I swear I did not see you there. I, I'll do I, it. I, I'm like, there's five of us today. I'm clicking <laughs> off the participants tab, clicking off the chat tab. I was just chilling. So, and dang, I'm sorry, Karen. No hey. worries. I didn't have my video on. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye.